Hi guys, in this tutorial I am going to explain about what is prototransistor. The prototransistor is a device that is able to sense light levels and alter the current flowing between the emitter and collector according to the level of light it receives. Prototransistor is a transistor usually bipolar in which minority carriers are injected on the basics of the internal photoelectric effect. Prototransistors are used to convert light signal into amplified electrical signals. This is the main function of the prototransistor. The prototransistor are used to convert light signals into amplified electrical signals. Prototransistors and photodiodes can both be used for sensing light. But the prototransistor is more sensitive in sensing light. But the prototransistor is more sensitive in view of the gain provided by the transistor. This is the main advantage of the prototransistor. The prototransistor having more gain compared to photodiode. This makes the prototransistor more suitable in a number of applications. So we want to discuss about the prototransistor operation. This is the circuit of the prototransistor here. The light enters the base region where it causes the whole electron phase to be generated. The generation mainly occurs in the reverse bias condition. So the whole electron space move under the influence of the electric field and provide the base current. Causing the electrons to be injected into the emitters. As a result, the photodiode current is multiplied by the current gain B of the transistor. In the, whenever the light is strikes the base region, the output will become this total circuit depending upon the light. Light is increased, the output is increased. Light is decreased, the output is decreased. But in no light condition also, some of the slow, lowest low amount of voltage is coming. That is, low amount of voltage output is coming. This is the one of the disadvantages in this prototransistor. So, what is the advantage? The advantage of this prototransistor is compared to photodiode. It handle photodiode handle one one mu a micro amperes of current but uh, with this phototransistor having handling 1100 micro amperes of current this is the main advantage of the phototransistor so and one is one of the main advantages is the gain and performance of the phototransistor is better than photodiode so most of the people choosing phototransistor for the operation the disadvantage of this phototransistor is one of the drawback of this phototransistor is that it is particularly slow and it is high frequency response is very poor so phototransistor characteristics so we want to discuss phototransistor characteristics these are the phototransistor characteristics the characteristics of the phototransistor under the different light intensities they are very similar to the characteristics of a conventional bipolar transistor but with the different levels of the base current replaced by the different levels of the light intensity there is small amount of a current that flows in the phototransistor even when low light is present this is called the dark current and that represents the small number of carriers that are injected into the emitter like the photo generator carriers this is also subject to the application by the transfer action so this is the video about my photo transfer tutorial if you like this video click please click on like button and please subscribe to my youtube channel okay friends thank you